Brought to you by Station House Coffee and Ting. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Rona Days, episode seven, which means seven weeks in the Corona lockdown. Right here in Southern California, baby. Uh, you know, people are starting to protest. Uh, but it's it's really weird. Like, reality has shifted so much around to where now, like, right-wing MAGA people are out protesting, uh, wanting to reopen, start businesses. Specifically out here in Palm Springs, there's a lot. But these are, like, people... The way Palm Springs works is during the summer months, July, August, September, right around in there... People leave. This is a ghost town. Businesses shut down. Things just kind of hibernate because it gets to like 115 to 125 degrees on the regular. Uh, so all these people that are protesting are just angry because they're on their fucking vacation. They're, you know, they live in Canada or in the Midwest or, uh, you know, wherever. They're on vacation. They live here part time. You know, they have they have their their house, their snowbirds, and they're just angry that they can't go do their spa days. I mean, this place is a it's a resort town, golfing, spas, clubs, everything like this is the peak as far as money wise, like Coachella was supposed to be here. Stagecoach. So there's I mean, businesses, yeah, they're fucked. But all these people out there are just angry they're not getting their spa days before they have to go back home in a couple months right because they you know they live in a place that they don't have like this place caters to like people with money um so it's hilarious because it's just a bunch of old white people it's not a diverse crowd you look at all these maga people that are that are protesting it's all the gun people right of course they need their guns to protest Unlike every other protester ever when they're protesting for shit, they're not coming armed with their fucking assault rifles, okay? And (laughs) fucking chill the fuck out, dude. Uh, You see those people out now protesting, you're seeing fucking, and then it's just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of white people with wrinkly skin and gray hair. Or just, like, people that, you know, they're, they're getting out of church. It's, like, a lot of really goofy awkward white people movements right they're not like it's they don't know how to protest they're not used to being out in public and like having people see them it's very weird they're like letting the part of themselves that they keep locked away behind this wall of like religion like where they you know because they can't show their true colors they have to have two they're like kind of they're getting a little crazy and it's just they you've seen they they're not even allowed to move normally cuz they they're new at it they're like bambi's kid right or bambi is the kid bambi like when you know anyway uh it's ridiculous it's going to be interesting to see if like there's a spike in numbers i mean they are starting to open stuff out up again slowly but i mean we'll see uh, it was a rough week for me personally. Uh, Wednesday, I was pretty depressed. Uh, thankfully, Thursday, the uh, I felt better. Thursday, uh, I kind of just took Wednesday off. I was just mentally, I was done. I was just so just exhausted mentally and emotionally. Nothing had come in yet. No stimulus check. No, I had gotten denied unemployment or just I don't know what it is. It came back with zeros. Uber and Lyft didn't report my earnings, so I have to go through this whole thing. So hopefully I'll get that eventually. No stimulus check had come in yet on Wednesday. I was just feeling tired, <laughs> feeling exhausted. And uh, But Thursday, I started off good and had a good day Thursday. Thursday night, I realized that the stimulus check had finally come in, which allowed me to breathe because uh, luckily I, I'm not having to pay rent, but like other bills were coming up like i'm living on very little like my cost of living is the lowest it's ever been in my entire life uh so at least i have a little bit more wiggle room 
uh, with the stimulus check, which is nice. Um, yeah, but still, go buy artwork and go buy merch, please. InspiredDisorder.com. I've been adding so much merch in like fluffy photoshops pillows with photoshop work that i've done for other podcasts my fan art uh you get uh tons of different kinds of uh prints of stuff too is available uh face masks are available uh shoes all kinds of shit just go to inspiredisorder.com uh oh phone cases for this show the ray taylor show merch uh, there's going to be face masks as soon as those are approved. Uh, and then uh, f- every the graphics for the beginning of the show are, f- are phone cases. Uh, so that And I just added the three new ones, which are coming out this week, uh, are out now. Um, so go check those out. Those are cool if you want to protect your phone and you're a fan of the show. You know, whatever. Uh, InspiredDisorder.com. That all helps me out, please, obviously. If you want to sponsor the show, if you're a business... Go sponsor it. It's cheap right now. 100 bucks an episode, 500 for the week. Um, all the details, inspiredisorder.com. Uh, and the price is subject to change. So if you're listening to this in the future and things are different, don't cry for me, Argentina. Uh, so I depressed Wednesday. Thursday had a good day. Ended really good when I saw the stimulus check. Uh, but in general, my life, since, I, since quitting my day job, Right back in 2015, I think it was five years ago. I worked at Costco for 13 years. I hated it. I hated my life. I had a condo that I was barely able to afford. Couldn't get anybody to be a fucking roommate. Uh, I was just done. All, most of my friends had kids. Like I just, I was just like it was. I, I needed to move. I needed to change. I was doing the podcast. I wanted to do more art, and I was just like I needed a big change. And uh, ever since then. Moving to Denver, then having to move to out to Palm Springs, La Quinta. I feel like I've been financially skydiving. Like I jumped out of a plane in f- 2015, and I was building a, a parachute before I hit the ground. And uh, I've gotten really close to hitting the ground a bunch of times. I mean, technically... I'm flying under the ground. I'm technically in debt. But, you know, like, you know, I can buy groceries. You know, finances are weird in this country because you can accumulate debt. Uh, my credit's horrible, but, I, you know, and I just added more debt. This whole thing is like, well, I can't pay any of that stuff off. Like, I, I really need to, unless I can start, once I start, once people start buying my art, support, sponsoring this show, then I'm good. I just don't, you know, I'm doing, th- I'm doing what I can do. So I'm financially skydiving, and I haven't hit the ground yet. And it, I thought I was when I left Denver, and somehow I didn't hit rock bottom. And then with this whole thing, I got real close. And then I have, you know, a gust of wind picked me up. It's like I have a, a parachute, I guess. So I'm not falling as fast. It's more of a parachute than I had. It's exponentially more of a parachute than I had two years ago. So things are growing in the right direction. But that's what it feels like for me. What it's felt like for me for the past five years is that I've been on a free fall. And, you know, the altitude is, is shrinking by the, by the second, by the month. And, uh, but somehow I'm still here. It's fucking crazy. Uh, makes me think of the David show uh, from DVD ASA. This thing he used to say. It was from Gattaca about how when the, the brothers, they would have, they would swim and the other brother would, would always beat him. Like he'd be able to swim out farther bef- than his brother. Bef- I, I forget how it is, but it's, he, he didn't end up going around the buoy and swimming back. He just went to the other side. It's like you you have to like go and not leave anything for the swim back because so many people are like have plan b's and like if you're gonna do something and you really want to do it like you can play around to see if you want to do something but if you decide you want to do something and you want to make it a thing then at some point you have to go all in 
and that's kind of what I did five years ago. I went, I jumped out of the plane, I went all in, and I'm still alive, and I've had a lot of support. So thank you all who who have supported me. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Rona days. Be safe out there. Be sure to check out our sponsor, Station House Coffee. Go to inspireddisorder.com slash coffee to purchase single origin, small batch, premium coffee. It's brewed in Vermont, shipped direct to you. Follow Station House Coffee on Instagram and purchase Station House Coffee through inspireddisorder.com slash coffee. Also, get $25 in device credit or service credit through Ting as your cell phone service provider. It's the same best coverage, same low rates. Now with three coast-to-coast networks, go to inspireddisorder.com slash Ting to take advantage of this one-of-a-kind offer. Get $25 in credit when you sign up for Ting over at inspireddisorder.com slash Ting. New episodes come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go purchase my artwork and merchandise for The Ray Taylor Show over at InspiredDisorder.com. Follow this show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!